Greetings everybody, it's Seanette here again. Uh, this message is going to be pertaining to everything is possible with God. Uh, the climate that we're living in and the world that's changing around us, it's a very real reminder that we need to keep in our back pocket. Uh, no matter how hard things seem or how impossible change feels, that God can do anything. Um, I was 16 years old when I first encountered Christ. And I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. And in my case, he was the father to the fatherless. Um, so I learned at 16 years old that the possibilities with Christ you know, are endless. And that every day in him, uh, we become new and the possibilities to bless others are endless. I was so glad that I had not only become a Christian when I first gave my life to Christ, um, that, but that I was able to feel that difference, that weight lifted, um, that joy in my soul that wasn't there before. Now looking back, um, as time moves on, we gain more wisdom as we go through experience. And that same joy is there um, with new troubles come new solutions. But what's really important is that we can look back on our lives and say that even before we knew Christ, there was never a time where God was not there. We are created to live in a relationship with God, and without that, life will never really make sense. Um, being with God is even more important than what you do for God. With God, everything is possible. So we're going to go into some scripture here. Let's see, Psalm 60, verses 5 through 12. So compare with God's help, human help is worthless. Now with God, David says, we shall gain victory. He was speaking about physical battles. The Apostle Paul writes that our main battles are not physical, they're spiritual. They're not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of evil and heavenly realms. David prays, save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God, we shall gain victory. So we're seeing here in the scriptures that although their problems were more um, of a tangible physical sense, as far as battles and wars against others and defending um, the nation of Israel against its enemies, the same principles can be applied to our life. Our battles may not be necessarily war or um, even conflict. Uh, they may be internal, but they all come from the places in our lives where evil tries to creep in. And that is where God comes in. And we have to remember, no matter how big the problem seems or how insurmountable the task, that everything is possible with God. So let us pray. Lord, thank you that with you we can be confident in all the battles we face. We will trust in you today and every day. We won't waste our time worrying because we know worry adds not an hour to our life. And we also know that you are made great and strong in our weakness, Lord. So we take those weaknesses and we lay those at your feet so that you may give us strength and the weapons to fight the battles before us. Thank you, Lord, for your awesome love, mercy, and power. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching, guys. Now go be a blessing to others.